Hey everyone, today we'll be having a first look at what Zephyr Slayers could look like for Master Duel. I haven't played Draco Slayers outside of this yet, so some of these combo lines might not be optimal, but they should give you a good idea of what the deck is capable of. Uh, the variant I'm running here is without the DDD engine or the Dragon Shrine engines, which are very powerful but uh, lose to like graveyard disruption and stuff. So this variant is a bit safer in that sense, but also has a bit of a lower power ceiling. This actually doesn't really matter, as you're going to see, since most of the end boards are more or less unbreakable for most decks regardless. All right, so here's our first hand. Uh, in this duel, uh, there's a small misplay where I use Chronograph on Chainlink 3 or so, and therefore the cards are summoning with it. The uh, Magister Goku unfortunately is the timing. Uh, here we're going to use Harmonizing to add for a form of Pal 5 Double Magician to make Denglong here, since it's a level 1. Here we'll just run for Electro right here, and here's the, the display. I unfortunately don't get the search here, so we'll be pitching the Draco Slayer, we just drew an Electromite. Kind of unfortunate, but nonetheless, still make a massive board of both Harbinger, Apo, Necro Valley, and two counter traps, as well as follow up, uh, since we'll be using the nine pillars to pop the Zafranio here. Uh, so this is Necro Valley, three monster negates, two omnis, a spell negate, and we have battle protection for the Appaloosa as well, since they have to attack into the Hope Harbinger. In my earlier tests, I uh, may or may not have not read Odd Revolution Dragon. Uh, it apparently has a scale effect, which is pretty relevant for the deck. I'm not sure if it comes up in this replay. We do get impermed here though, so we're already playing through disruption. Now the biggest issue I have with Zephyr Slayers is that the Draco Slayers have all these nifty two card combos that all run through beyond the pendulum, which does not play nice with Zephyrath at all unfortunately, since it negates the level modulation, sorry the scale modulation effect. Slayers here get us tons of bodies. Yeah, so we make uh, Hope Harbinger, Apple with four mats, and we have the Divine Strike as a counter trap through Imperm, uh, which is six interruptions into their five cards. And we'll be using the Electromite to get the Zafranu back out of scale. It locks us, draw a card, summon Zephyrath. Always important to get your counter trap access. That's basically the main purpose of the Zephyr lines here. We're making a Dweller here since we don't have Necro Valley access, and then we have the Harbinger Apo again. So very nice, we'll get all three negates through since Harbinger protects it, they can't use graveyard effects, spell negate, three monster negates, and a counter trap here. Now this starts off like a normal Zephyr combo here. Except that we get to special out the new Draco Slayer card. We'll be grabbing the Luster Pendulum to get the tuner access. And this will let us summon out the Majesty from deck to search for Necro Valley. Uh, you could also add Sky Iris here. Probably do something with that as well. But this is like my day one testing. So, the 
this we got a counter trap, necro valley, three man apo, a spell negate, and if they activate any spell cards, jackal king will also be live. Here we have to place an imperm again. We're using the joker here, it'll just eat the negate. Would have searched for probably uh, harmonizing here or. Oh, revolution if we can't manage to fix your scales. Conveniently draw into Oracle, that's why we run so many of the Zephyr cards. Here we'll be adding a boar. Since we'll get our counter trap through the pen summon of Zephranio anyways. And we'll get the other counter trap off of Denglong here. Also, through an Imperm, ending on Apo for 3 with the Harbinger to protect it and negate a spell. Two live counter traps into 5 cards. Also very very strong board. Pretty sure I misplay. Let's replay a little bit. Or maybe I the old one. Not sure. But it really pops off with the Electromite for the my bad, the Astrograph for the free summon to make the Electromite very, very early off. The pop this here. Special summon from the deck. And we'll just pitch the, the dead Cerberus here. Now we do get kind of lucky and draw into the 5 Rainbow Magician, which gives us our level 1 non tuner that we need. Let's almost summon it here to make the Denglong. This will just get us into Necro Valley. I don't feel like we need more bodies on this board, so we we'll do it like that. And here we also end on Necro Valley, Baguska, which protects our Apo, and two counter traps again. And here's our last replay. Uh, this will be showing how we can get into the Draco Slayer line, even if we get ashed here. Uh, looks like we don't actually get to access it here. But we'll be making Electromite here, adding a Servant since we already have Zephyr at high scale. Conveniently drawing into Necro Valley, which we could have searched later on anyways though. We'll be using the Harmonizing to go into Denglong and summoning Uku back again. Specifically, to level 3 and together with Denglong, this gets us into Ignister right here. So we can summon another Draco Slayer from deck. Uh, there's probably a way to go about this uh, that's a bit better. Since you can't actually add back off the green one. Since there are no other names to actually that currently. So I probably could have just summoned any of the names. doesn't really matter. Uh, if I had another dead card in hand or something, I could have also added the Majesties to pitch it to search for the Necro Valley. We, we drew the Necro Valley, right? So if it was something that's like dead at this point in the combo, like another hard once per turn card that we've already spent, or something we can't summon, like the Cerberus or another Zephras, we could have at this point summoned out the Majesty and added the Necro Valley and pitched the name. And here again, we consistently ended on this board uh, since adding the summoning the green one didn't actually matter, uh, and the Necro Valley draw also didn't matter since we could have just converted it into the Necro Valley, ending on Necro three man Apo protected by the Harbinger for another spell in the gate as well as two counter traps. Uh, I hope you like this small showcase. Uh, not all the routes were optimal, probably, but it should give you a pretty decent idea of the additional power and the additional lines that the Draco Slayers add to the deck, mainly a more consistent field spell floodgate access through the Majesty, uh, as well as the Harbinger to protect your Appaloosa. These boards also don't lose the Super Poly, except the one with Baguska plus Sofranio, so that's also really huge, and you can negate things like Droplets, Dark Ruler, whatever, with your counter traps as well. Hope you enjoyed.